Hi, this is Dr. Catherine Dow reporting for ULAR 2022 with Room Now. So I am very excited to share with you the poster 0186. So this is the two-year data on Aurora 2, and it's the result of long-term use of vocalosporin for lupus nephritis. So if you remember, Aurora 1 is a one-year study, Aurora 2 is a two-year study after that. So it's really three years of exposure. So there were 216 patients. Um, they received vocalosporin 27.3 milligrams twice a day with mycophenolate versus mycophenolate as a control. And when you compare the two groups, the data showed that there was no unexpected adverse events. And actually the rate of adverse events decreased over time, which is to be expected because the longer a patient stays on a drug, then the longer they're gonna stay on the drug. Those who have a lot of side effects will drop out early. Now, what's interesting was they did find that COVID infections did occur um, in these patients. There were 12 in the control group and seven in the vocalosporin group. There were four deaths in the control arm, but no deaths with the vocalosporin arm. The glomerular filtration rate, serum creatinine, remained stable throughout the study, and the reduction in the urinary protein creatinine ratio actually was sustained even after one year of use. So this is reassuring data that you could continue vocalosporin with mycophenolate for lupus nephritis for more than two years. Dr. Catherine Dow reporting. Follow me on Twitter at kdow2011.